Today we are getting organized. Hey crafters and welcome to my channel and we're doing today's video vlog style. Today's video is on nine Cricut organization hacks that you must know if you are a crafter. I think it is a universal struggle for all crafters that we feel like we have no room to put any of our supplies, our crickets, our vinyl, all of our materials, especially when you are in a small space. I mean, I have like, this is all I got. That's it and we need as much space as we possibly can. And all of the products that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the video description so you can easily access them and get the same stuff like me so we could twin and have the same stuff in our craft rooms. So we're gonna get started and I hope you all enjoy. The first Cricut organization hack is a solution for storing your Cricut mats, especially if you are in a small space. If you have the extra wall space, I highly suggest adding a thumbtack to your wall and storing your Cricut mats right on the thumbtack. Make sure that the thumbtack isn't one of those flat circle ones. It's the kind of thumbtack that comes out a bit so you can store multiple mats on it. With this particular thumbtack, I was able to store up to four Cricut mats, including my 12 by 24. I feel like the thumbtack solution is really simple and easy. Plus it's right on your wall. So anytime you need to create a project, you can easily take it off and put it back on. And you don't have to scramble through your office, your craft space, trying to find your damn mat. So thumbtacks are your new best friend when it comes to storing Cricut mats. The second craft room Cricut organization hack is perfect for drawers and storage organizers. And I'm telling you, you need these. They are the clear desk organizers. So take this drawer, for example, this is my drawer where I have a lot of basic office supplies like post-its, rubber bands, again, more thumbtacks, some pens and markers, my blue light glasses, tape, stapler, ruler, you name it, all the basic office supplies that you would need. If I just threw all these things randomly in this drawer, it would take me so long long just to find a pen. They come in all different sizes. I highly suggest measuring your drawer out beforehand so you can order the proper amount. I also use them to hold my camera equipment such as my SD cards, my hard drive, and I also use it for the next Cricut organization hack which is the craft cart that I got from Michaels. It is a three-tiered cart and it comes in so many fun different colors. You know me, we're going with the aesthetic so I got white and it holds three three of my Cricut machines. On the bottom, we have my nine by nine Cricut Easy Press. And then on the middle tray, I have my mini heat press and some more clear desk organizers, which help hold an extra pair of scissors, more blades, weeder tools, scraper tools, my heat resistant tape, and the tool organizer, which is the next Cricut hack. Just kind of all the basic crafting supplies that you would need as a crafter. And on the top, I have my Cricut Joy and a cute little sign to remind myself that I need to be a light for all to see. But this three-tiered cart is perfect for any small space. It also has wheels too, which is great. So if I ever wanted to use it while I'm crafting, I can easily move it around and move it back into its home. But if you don't have that much room and you want to store some Cricut machines, crafting supplies or some fun decor, I highly suggest getting this cart. I didn't forget about this next Cricut organization hack and it is a blade organizer for your Cricut machines. Now as crafters, we always like to use the fine point blade which comes with every Cricut machine. However, if you want to expand the amount of things that you can make with your Cricut, such as using the knife blade, foil tip, and you're like, where the heck do I store these? This blade organizer is perfect and it fits perfectly in my cart that I just showed. You can also fit this in a desk drawer on your desk because it is that compact. So I highly suggest getting this blade organizer if you have multiple blades. The next Cricut hack is by far one of my favorite hacks. Now, if you're like me, I save all of my vinyl, but the issue is storing all those vinyl scraps. You will take a scrapbook organizer and put all your vinyl scraps in them. They are clear square 12 by 12 organizers and they're technically supposed to be used for scrapbook paper and cardstock. What I love about these is that you can store as many as you want in here without them getting too bulky. And I decided to organize them by color. So all my blues, greens, reds, browns, all of them are in separate ones. They don't take up much room. If you don't have an organizer like this, you can also put them on your desk in a file organizer. This hack for your vinyl scraps is 
chef's kiss. Okay, so the next Cricut organization hack is for storing any kind of materials, and it is this storage drawer unit. The one on the right in my room is actually from Amazon, but the one that's holding my brand new Glowforge Aura is from Ikea. They fit everything from different materials. I just filmed my Glowforge Aura tutorial, so I have a lot of my blanks, my wood, and this one from Ikea is also very wide and deep. And a big plus is that you can store a machine on top of it. So that's why I have my Glowforge Aura on the top of this one. And then on the top of my mini one, this one is from Amazon, which will be linked in the video description. This one holds my printer, but I also have my vinyl scraps in here. I have my heat pressing materials such as my mat and some extra tools like my paper cutter. It just keeps everything in one place. It's not messy. It's hidden in these drawers. So you would never know that I have all of this stuff in my office. Getting this drawer unit will save you a lot of space. And it is a great Cricut organization hack. The next Cricut organization hack is something that might be obvious to most people, but I feel like I'm gonna blow some people's minds. Did you know that your Cricut machine actually has an organization unit in it? If you didn't, you know now. So when you open your Cricut, you'll see that there is a tray that pops out and you essentially put your Cricut mat and your material on it so the Cricut can cut it. However, that tray has a little hole and you can open it and store even more craft supplies. So on the right hand side, you'll see that I have some pens and markers. I have my scoring stylus and then the middle, I have my scraper tool and then on the left there's actually some magnets so I'm able to put my foil tips there but this compartment is so smart on Cricut's behalf I'm so glad that they made this feature in every Cricut machine besides the Cricut Joy of course and it is great to store all of your basic materials in it this next Cricut organization hack is so smart for saving space with your vinyl rolls if you were ever a kid like me and loved slap bracelets slap bracelets came in all different kinds of fun colors textures and then as soon as you pressed it on your wrist it would immediately roll up into a bracelet we can take it a step further and use it to hold our vinyl rolls I like to buy my vinyl in bulk I get the 12 by 5 yard rolls because I know that I use them a lot and I save a lot of money when buying in bulk however sometimes I will just buy a 12 by 5 foot roll but when you buy the 12 by 5 foot rolls they don't come with that cardboard filling like the 5 yard rolls do and storing it, you'll see this is my copper vinyl. But I'm actually using the slap bracelet and you can make the roll even smaller from before. The best way to do this though is to really roll up that vinyl as tiny as you can and then use the slap bracelet. So look at the difference from before and after. This will save so much room because the bigger and wider these rolls are when you store them, the less room you have and it keeps the vinyl roll intact. Now let's get into how you can store these vinyl rolls, which is my last and final Cricut organization hack. I have these very tall closets in my craft room that I am very thankful for. But when I first moved in here, I didn't know how to store everything. So I bought these bins from Ikea. I have eight of them in my closet now and they all hold different things. On the top row, I don't really use this that much because I'm a shorty and I would need my husband or a huge chair to reach them. But I have a lot of my camera boxes, some like shipping equipment, poly mailer bags, things that I just don't really use. On the second row below that, I have have all of my Cricut blanks and craft organization things. Then on the third row, I have all of my vinyl rolls. On the left side, it is all of my HTV rolls. And on the right is my adhesive vinyl rolls. And then on the bottom, I have a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Cricut materials like my Cricut Bright Pad Go, other craft supplies on the left bin, such as paint, primers, paint brushes. But I'm a huge fan of bins, especially when it comes to organizing, because if I didn't have these bins, this closet would look like an absolute mess. Bins keep every thing in one place. I know where everything exactly is. Bins are 10 out of 10, I recommend them. Now let's close out today's video. Okay, so we are done with today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button to see more videos like this one. Now I'm gonna go back to crafting. I'm gonna edit this video that I just made and I will see you in the next one. Bye.